This is the story of my Lake Tahoe garden. My garden is located on the crest of the Sierra Nevada mountain range in the south shore of Lake Tahoe. Sitting at 7,300 feet above sea level, this high altitude garden only has a growing season of June through September. On my deck, I grow salad and green beans. And in the lower garden, I grow squash, potatoes, onions, and asparagus. The lower garden has no fence, and the wild animals are free to come and go as they like. The container garden on the deck sits on top of a gutter system that collects the excess runoff. It is then sent to the lower garden by way of a 33-foot waterfall. Every garden needs a cat, and well, I have a few of them. This is Frazzle in her grass garden. This is my beloved Ellie, who is an exceptional gardener. Every morning, she would get up and make the rounds with me, just so she could eat her fair share of corn. When it comes to the lower garden, Slider is the one. On his leash and harness, he'll help me in the garden all day long. In the garden at night is where the wild things roam. The garden has not always been a wild place. Over the last 13 years, it has gone through a few changes. The first year was a small pond with rocks around it. The next year I expanded and added some strawberry plants. Expanding the pond and starting to work with flood irrigation. A lot more rock work this year. This year I dug down real deep and amended the soil. Next I added the convertible top. This allowed me to start a month earlier and it also protected me against the frequent Lake Tahoe snowstorms. This year I added asparagus. One challenge of a high altitude garden is the low temperatures and snow. You have to be ready for snow at any time or perhaps a July 3rd hailstorm. With the top batten down, it can handle three or four inches of snow and temperatures as low as 17 degrees. In the center of the garden is a grinding stone. I've had good success with many different kinds of squash. Russian red kale and bok choy do very well. Every year I get a bountiful harvest of yellow and green squash as well as some cucumbers. In hot summer months, I can produce enough green beans and tomatoes for the entire neighborhood. Potatoes and peppers. Cabbage and beets grow late into the season. At the end of October, when the days are getting shorter and the nights are getting colder, this is when I get to give my garden back to the wildlife of Lake Tahoe. Remember these two little guys? Every fall they come back to visit and they bring a few friends with them too.
thankful for the bounty of the harvest. I am grateful to the wildlife that calls this home. And I am proud to create this small oasis for nature to thrive. This has been a Cats on Glue production.